the chairman of ECOWAS, His Excellency President Bola Ahmed Tinubu's position is that every human life matters, not just within the sub-region, but internationally. But in, in, with respect to this situation, every life matters. And that means that every decision uh, that will be uh, arrived at by the bloc uh, will be taken with the foremost consideration given to the peace, stability, and development of not just the sub-region, but the African continent at large. It's extremely important. This is a, a concern that has been raised in the do public domain over the course of the last few days, and so I want to pay special attention to this. It is extremely important that we recognize the difference and report the difference between the agreement between two sovereign, constitutional, constitutionally governed nation states and a situation in which one sovereign, constitutionally governed nation state is now dealing with a state that is said to be governed or ruled by a military junta which had taken power essentially by force or by extra-constitutional means. Uh, the question would now be, can you say that a pre-existing agreement between two legitimate authorities would still stand between one legitimate authority and the other being illegitimate? This is the concern, given that uh, example you've raised. Uh, uh, further to that point, recognize also that no move taken by the Nigerian government, for example, as part of the regional bloc, has been taken in isolation. What I mean by that is that the Nigerian government has acted on the authority provided by the consensus position taken by the bloc itself, uh, by all members of the ECOWAS heads of state, concerning financial sanctions and many others. I can, also, I can also report that following the expiration of the deadline of the ultimatum and standing on the pre-existing consensus position of financial sanctions meted out on the military junta in Niger Republic by the bloc of ECOWAS heads of state, his Excellency President Bola Ahmed Tinubu has ordered an additional slate of financial sanctions through the Central Bank of Nigeria on uh, entities and individuals related to or involved with the military junta in Niger Republic. The extent of cooperation is not what is in question at this point. There have been negotiations. Uh, that has been firmly established and publicly communicated. The extent to which those negotiations have resulted in outcomes that are acceptable to all parties, uh, clearly uh, that has not uh, been the case, but we certainly do expect that given Thursday's ECOWAS Extraordinary Summit uh, holding in Abuja coming up very soon, uh, we expect that uh, all aspects of those negotiations which have taken place uh, would factor in fully into the consensus position that will be adopted uh, on Thursday and, of course, uh, would then be publicly communicated to all. Thank you very much. Certain details of these engagements uh, will remain uh, confidential uh, for the purposes of ensuring that uh, the sanctity of whatever negotiations are taking place are not in any way undermined or adversely impacted. So I would uh, plead your patience uh, to allow for the deliberations uh, to take place at the ECOWAS Extraordinary Summit where uh, some of the details related to the question you've asked uh, would be made known to the public uh, following uh, that summit. 
we have been, let me, put, let me phrase it this way. His Excellency President Bola Ahmed Tinubu, in his capacity as the chairman of ECOWAS, has been unequivocal in his position that diplomacy is the best way forward. He and the, in representing the consensus position of the ECOWAS heads of state, uh, he has communicated clearly that he, along with his colleagues in the, in the bloc, uh, would prefer a resolution that was obtained through diplomatic means, through peaceful means, uh, rather than any other. And that will uh, be a position that uh, is maintained uh, going forward, uh, pending any other resolution that may or may not result uh, from the ECOWAS Extraordinary Summit holding on Thursday. Because the position of the ECOWAS heads of state is a regional position and not a national position, the motives and intentions and rationale and all of the inputs into uh, the regional bloc's decision will be impacted not by any nation state, but by the bloc as a whole. So uh, I, I believe in line with that understanding, uh, it would be uh, regional factors and not national factors that would uh, feed into uh, whatever final outcome would result uh, from uh, the consensus position that is expected uh, to be um, informed to all of us uh, on Thursday following the extraordinary summit of ECOWAS.